All right, here we go. Head up while my feet are moving. Good sight picture, grip feels good. Finger straight, safely holster. Let's go this way. One, two, three, four. Safely recover to the holster. Let's go this way, dominant hand only. Oh, that sight looks good. Finger straight, safely holster. Let's go this way, non-dominant hand. Safely recover to the holster. One more time this way, here we go. One, two, three, four. Good sight picture, finger straight. Go one more, here we go, ready? That felt good, finger straight, safely holster. Yeah, I looked the gun into the holster. Practice what you want to get out. What do you want to get out? Well, that should kind of bring about the discussion of what's your goal. Do you want to get out to look a certain way or do you want to get out skills that help you perform a certain way? That might look a certain way, but the reality is you want to perform a certain way. Why? I'm going to go out on a limb or maybe go out on a slack line and suggest you want to perform a certain way because you want to win, you want to live. Oh, that's nothing earth shattering. No, it's not, but I see a lot of skills being trained on the range in the little videos that we put up here and other places. A lot of skills that are performed that are not really intended to help one win in violence. I also see a lot of people, you can tell by watching their body, their body posture, the way they breathe, the way they move, the way they look, that they're not really interested in the big picture of winning, which is living. They're more interested in doing what they always have done and just adding a gun into the mix. I must predicate what I'm about to say on this. Myself, people that work with me, my wife, we genuinely care about all of you. That's why we create all of this free content. So I pass on this information with nothing but love for you and your family in the hopes that you too get to live a long, full life or do as much as possible to take yourself to that place. So what is the goal? The goal for most of us, the reason that we carry these tools around, see, I'm not really a gun guy. I'm a living guy. I don't train with all these tools and do the stuff that we do because guns are sexy. In fact, they're quite cumbersome. They're not cool to me. What's cool to me is being able to deploy a tool to win in violence. When somebody tries to apply unrighteous force against me, I would like the ability to be able to say, not today, using my skill and my knowledge and my trained abilities, I will go home, you will not. Not because I want that, but because you chose to enter my path and apply some type of unrighteous force or violence against me, I have a right by my creator, by the laws of this land, to do as I see fit to keep living. That's why I have this. But there's something there I think that transcends the discussion of the gun and it's the keep living part. So here's my challenge. Let's call it the one-to-one -one training challenge. The one-to-one -one training challenge. If you're gonna train for five minutes, with your gun, I'm suggesting you should train for five minutes with your body. If you're gonna train for 10 minutes with your gun, you should train for 10 minutes with your body. So, you know, if I'm down here doing dry fire, I'm not gonna muck the dry fire up by trying to always smoke myself because there's, there's a time and a place for that. There's certain guys here on the social media that think they invented training that includes physical uh, uh, stress. The Spartans did it, the Romans did it. It's been around for a bit. But don't mix the two together until you've mastered one or the other, right? And don't try to take weak pistol skills and add to that physical stress. Let's get the pistol skills up to snuff first. So I'm not suggesting that we mesh these. What I'm suggesting is, if your goal is to live a long, full life, then perhaps, perhaps you should start to take it seriously. And if you're not, now is as good as time as any to do it. And all I'm suggesting is a one-to-one -one challenge. So if you go to the range for an hour a week, just do an hour of physical exercise, just an hour. That's not that much. 
but it tells you something about your true goals if it's to look a certain way with a gun or to truly live a long, full life. There's a, a lot going on in this world. And I tell you one thing, to be happier, healthier, and live longer, taking control of your, your physical health is probably the number one thing that you can do. You can't control what's going on in government. You can't control what's going on in your kids' schools. You can't control what's going on in the mind of your neighbor. Now you can have input into all those things. You or I could run for office. We could do all kinds of things to, to make change in the world around us. But at the end of the day, this machine and its computer are about the only thing that you have total control over. Here's the cool thing about this. This machine's gonna die, as I talk about often. It will come to a physical end, and the spark of life will leave you. Everything that you did to keep this machine going will be done as well. So, do the one-to-one. -one. Continue to push yourself to maintain great skills with the weapons that you carry, but just as important, more important, is that we tune this body. A couple reasons why. There's a lot of places guns aren't allowed. And if you say, well, I don't go to those places, have you ever been to a courthouse? Secretary of State, DMV, you go to a, a, a air, airport ever? Do you fly? Never, never fly? Okay. There's plenty of places that we may need to be able to fight. You know, getting to train across the country as an instructor and a student, I see a lot of people that need to take more time for their physical health. We're here because we care about you. I'm passing this information on because to me it is a challenge, not just to you, but to me. I'm guilty of it too. It's easy to get lax. It's easy to say, I'll try tomorrow. Just do the one-to-one. -one. At the very least, it's a start. Now, if you're doing nothing, if you're training with neither, don't say, well, I'm doing good because I did zero of this, so I'll do zero of that. You should be pushing yourself every day. These bodies, these machines of ours, are meant to move, thrive, and survive. They are not meant to sit and do nothing. They are not meant to waste away. And if you let them waste away, they will waste away. They will not support you living, you taking care of your family, you being there when the grandbabies come. Keep it going, one to one. When you can do more than that, do more. When you can get to the point where an hour or two of exercise a day is there, do that. Be good. Don't be dickheads.